madman. Smoke gets in your eyes. Finished, sir, yet? Yeah? yeah. Hey, do you have a light, old gold man? Huh? Lucky strike here. Can I ask you a question? Why do you smoke old gold? I'm sorry, sir. This sound here bother you? It can be a little chatty. No, but actually it's just having a conversation. Is that okay? Can I get another drink? Yeah. Do this again. Old fashioned, please. So you obviously need to relax after working here all night. I guess. I don't know. What? But what is it? I mean, low tar? Those new filters? Well, I mean, why old gold? They gave them to us in a service in the service of carton a week for free so you're used to them is that it yeah they're a habit i never get you i could never get you to try another brand say my luckies i love my old golds all right well let's just say tomorrow tobacco weevil comes and eats all every last gold gold on the planet that's a sad story it's a tragedy would you just stop smoking I think I could, I could find something. I love smoking. I love smoking. That's very good. My wife hates it. Reader's Digest says it will kill you. Yeah, I heard all, all about that. Ladies love that in magazines. Yes, they do. They weren't. You weren't worried. You weren't worried about waking me, were you? Am I about doing anything? Mm, no. You're lucky. I'm still up for my job. I, you're lucky I'm still up working and I'm alone how's it going they invented something called grandfather day you ought to keep me busy drawing puppies for a few months can I run a few ideas past you does that mean what I think it means because it's, I'm familiar with one of those with most of your ideas I'm having a situation with my cigarette account wow you really are here to talk trade commission Cracking down on all our health claims. I get really digest. This is the same scare you had five years ago. You dealt with it. And now I slept a lot better knowing Dr. Smoke. Well, that's just it. The whole safeless cigarette thing is over. No more doctors, no more testimonials, no more cough free, smooth your two zone, no tar, no nicotine, filter tip, nothing. All I have is a crash proof box. And four out of five people dead. People, four out of dead, five dead people. Smoke your brand. Is that? Is this a part where you say Don Draper is the greatest ad man ever, and his big strong brain will find a way to lead his sheep to a schoolyard? I don't want to go to a schoolyard. You're gonna pitch me yet yeah, to me or not, Midge? I'm serious. I have nothing. I'm over. They're finally gonna gonna know it. Next time you see me, there'll be a bunch of young executives picking meat off my ribs. That's a pretty picture. What's your secret? Nine different ways to say I love you, Grandma. You, sh you should get me married. You think I make a good ex-wife? I'm serious. You have your own business. You don't mind that I come over? What size Cadillac do you ha take? Do you know the rules? I don't make plans. I don't make breakfast. So it is having the tobacco people in nine hours. I have nothing. People love smoking. There's nothing that you, Trade Commission or Reader Digest, can do to change that. There's a kid who comes up to my office every day. He looks where he's going to put his plants. He's handsome. Ah, oh, not right away. Pal, could you take that a long way up? I'm really enjoying the view here. Going to Campbell's bachelor party, yeah. I want to be there before they tie the, an anchor round his neck and drag him out to sea. I hear she's a nice girl. Ah, who wants that? What did you do that for? She's probably assigned to one of us. Then she know what she's in for. You've got to let them know what kind of guy you are. They know what kind of girl you to be. I have a feeling we don't won't be going to your bachelor party soon. Yeah, we're compared to Campbell. Well, yeah, we're well compared to Campbell on Boy Scout. Excuse me, expecting you. You're not expecting anything. Oh, honey, don't worry. I'll get home safely. 
I've an important appointment right now. So don't you go shopping or something. Take your mother to lunch. Tell her it was my idea. Wow, he's good. It's just a bachelor party, dear. No, I don't know what they planned. What, but judging with creative brain power around you here, you'll probably end up seeing my fair lady. I'll tell you what. I'll drop by, by your place on my way home. My mother can check and your my fingernails. Oh, of course I love you. I give up my life to be with you, aren't I? What a great p- girl. Tell you, boy, she stole my heart. An old man loaded. This is the executive floor. It should be organized, but it's not. So we find account executives and creative executives all mixed together. Don't ask me the difference. Great. Hopefully, if you follow my lead, you can avoid some of the mistakes I made here. Hello, Joan. Like that one. So many times did you take... How many times, friends, did you... Did you take you? Oh, only one. But I got up very early. A couple of years, right moves would be the city with the rest of us. Of course, we really make the right moves. Be out in the country. Won't be going to work at all. She'll be here, just across the aisle from me. They both take care of Mr. Draper for the time being. I don't know what our goals are, but don't overdo it with perfume. Keep a fifth of something in your desk. Mr. Draper not a drink to ride. Also invest in some aspirin, band-aids and a needle thread. Why is Canadian, right? You better find out. You might write like you make once a secretary. Well, but most of the time, looking for something between a mother and a waitress. The rest of the time? Well, go home, take a paper bag, cut your eye holes out of it. Put it over your head, get undressed, look at yourself in the mirror. We really evaluate where your strengths or weaknesses are and be honest. I always try to be honest. Good for you. Now I try not to be overwhelmed by all of this technology. It looks complicated, but the man who designed it made it simple enough for a woman to use. I sure hope so. I'd like to pick up my box of chocolates, a dozen carnations, and some salt bath salts. I'll explain later. Thank you, Miss Holloway. You're really wonderful for looking you're really wonderful looking out for me this way. It's Joan. Listen, we don't ke- take this the wrong way. If a girl like you, with those little darling little ankles, I'll find a way to make them sing. Also, men like love scarves. Good morning, Mr. Draper. Oh, and Mr. Stelling. How are you? Morning, girls. You look like a hundred bucks. Good night, long night. I'm not tobacco, not, it's not the tobacco thing, is it? Been on my mind. Well, yeah, I hope so. He got his father. A whole lucky strike family would be here before. You worried? No. If you worried, if you was worried, I'd ask you what you got. Well, I'm not. So you're just going to assume you got something which means you should be worried. You came here because you wanted to watch me get dressed? No, I wanted to make sure you were here in body. Give me, give me about half an hour. The rest of it. How do you put? Do I put this? Have we ever hired any Jews? Not on my watch. That's very funny. It's not what I meant. We got an Italian sick, 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 my art director. They won't work. That won't work. Sorry, most of Jewish guys work for the Jewish firms. Yeah, I know. Selling Jewish products for Jewish people. That's very good. Just for our eleven o'clock with the men in the department store. I wish we had someone make them feel comfortable. Want me to run down the deli and grab someone? You missed the button. Oh, look out! What do you give it? Still trying to get find out that give bikini summer's coming. About the medical claims, all we have is a white box, red spot on it. My neighbour posed for that. Believe me, he always looks very relaxed. Of course he doesn't smoke. Had I him have him had him hold a pencil. If I knew these guys were better off with a sec, little sex appeal. Can you give me a woman a battling baby suit? Put her next to your guy, a sexy girl. I can do that. Give you a chance. Give you a chance to get a real model. Oh, I love my work. Speaking of my sexy girls, you're going to pick the bachelor party. Not big on those things. Tell me about it. So embarrassing, girls. No take shape in my face. I want to be alone so I can do something. Can we drink before the meeting or after, or both? So what? So that's it, huh? Relax. Don't be short with me. You're the writer.
I thought you were worth a try. Get a glove but look bang. He's here to see you. Get it set in, in sent him in. Oh great. Now we get to hear from our man in research. Mr Draper and Mr Romano. You both seemed more relaxed than I expected. Do you have some kind of surprise for tobacco people? I'm doing my own research. The plan to continue with medical protection for me. You only be inviting further government interference. You must please yourself. There here there's your there's your slogan. Medical thing is dead. Yes, we understand that. Yes, dead. At choice of words, considering the public is convinced cigarettes are poisonous. If we don't insist they're not. I believe that my recent surveys have provided a solution. We can still suggest that cigarettes are part of American life. Too good to give up. A most appealing assertion of independence. But basically, you love danger, you love smoking. We put a skull on crossbones and rifle. I love it. Before the war, when I studied the after in Berlin, Vienna, we populated that the few called death, which is a powerful drive, those sexual reproduction, physical substance. Few, Fury, you say, what agency is we with? So you suggest we to believe in people all living way, living one way and secretly thinking the exact opposite. It's ridiculous. Let me tell you something, Miss Gutterman, Doctor, Mr. Doctor, Doctor Gutterman. So those psychology might be a great as cocktail parties, but as it happens, people buying cigarettes before Freud was born. The issue here isn't why should people smoke, it's why people should smoke lucky strike. Suggesting that our governments have a what what do you call a death wish? Don't see that on the old billboard. So what it's Roger Dreyser says is they're dangerous. Also said Bambi was a book for a century with no proof, conclusive proof that none of that of these low tower no lic- low nicotine or filter symptoms have any effect on the instances of lung cancer. Just give me the damn report. I think you'll find it very convincing. I'm sure I will. The one who found all the medical testimonies in the first place. The true Mr. Draper, but has anyone ever else seen this? Of course not. It's your account. Good. Don't want you to hear about it anymore. Don't want to hear about it anymore. I'm sorry. Find your whole approach was perverse. Good luck at a meeting. I'm sure it'll be a quick one. So, take that drink now, Mr. Draper. Excuse me. Mr. Draper, I'm sorry to wake you, but Mr. Campbell's all outside. He doesn't know I'm sleeping in here, does he? No, sir, that's good. Who are you? I'm Peggy Elson, the new girl. Can you get out there and entertain him? I know it's my first day. I don't want to seem uncooperative. Co- I have a... I have, but how do I have to? I see your point. I brought you some aspirin. Just send him in. You look at look, a hundred bucks. Ready to do sweet talks of retail Jews? You're tough to make. It, you are tough to make. Takes first thing. In the morning, Pete. I never had any complaints. Speaking of which, who's your little friend here? There, she's my little girl. You always get. You always get a new girl. Benjamin gets all the perks. Where you? Where are you from, honey? Miss Davis, secretary of school. Top notch. But I mean, where are you from? Are you Amish or anything? No, I'm from Brooklyn. Well, we're in the city now. It wouldn't be a sin for us to, to see your legs. Pull that your waist in. It might look like a woman. Is that all, Mr. Draper? Hey, I'm not done here. I'm working my way up. That will be all, Peggy, right? Yes. Oh, time is for your 11 o'clock meeting. Oh, I'm sorry about Mr. Cameroon. He left his manners back in the fraternity house. He's a little young for you, Draper. The future is Mrs. Peter Campbell. He's a very lucky woman. Where is the wedding again? Sunday. Did Ken tell you about the bachelor party tonight? Sure did. So, did I get my first? Cr- do I get my first crack at her? Why did she look? She looked down and more sailor than the Am- Arizona. How old are you, Pete? I've just turned not twenty six. I bet the whole world looks like one big, big brass A strap, just waiting to be snapped, huh? You're good with your words, Draper. Campbell, we're both men here. I'm gonna be direct. Christ, you're already sleeping with her, advertising a very small world. You do something like merging 
the reputation of a girl hysterical for her first day you make you make you make it even smaller keep it up even if you get my job you'll never run this place you'll die in a corner office a mid-level executive with little or lots of hair the women go home with go home with not out of pity want to know why because you are no one will like you now he is our miracle worker he's our miracle worker now you know pete campbell of course are you are your co- account executive you choose to do business with us this handsome fellow is don draper most creative director in new york well at least in the building pleasure to meet you oh sorry about that i'm rachel mckean oh i'm sorry i expected you to be a man my father was too you are my my don do you remember david codeen from the art department of course david and the rising stars here at sterling cooper well why didn't we make ourselves comfortable miss mckean you tell us what you have in mind wonderful you're very subtle isn't that your isn't that your skirt had to go all the way to the mailroom, but I found one. So you must be Paddy Green Olson. Joe Holloway sent you over. She's a great girl. How is Joe? She sends her regards. She's a lot of fun. Must be a screen to work with her. Yes, it's pretty terrific. Try to make yourself comfortable. Relax. See you from your chart. Your finger that you're not married. That's right. You're not in, you're interested in contraceptive, contraceptive pills? Well, I was. No reason to be nervous. Joe sent you to me because I'm not here to prejudge you. There's something, nothing wrong with a woman being practical about possibility of sexual activity. Prejudice, that's good to hear. Although, as a doctor, I like to think I'm putting a woman in this situation, I'm not going to turn her into some kind of strumpet, lying about funny to warn me. I'm not going to be a bite. I warn you now, I'll take off your, this medicine. If you abuse it, if you are, if for your own good, really. But the fact is, even in more modern times, even if women don't find husbands, I understand, Doctor Emerson. I really am a very respectable person. Well, I'm sure you're not that kind of girl. Now, Joan, I'm just kidding a lot of you. So here, you can get dressed. I want to write you a prescription for ever, ever bed. That's eleven dollars a month. But I don't think you can go out. Become the town trump, thump, pump, just to get your money's worth. Excuse my French. So what Doyle is saying is that the, the, for, those variety, for a variety of media, including a spot during, during the, the Danny Thomas show, if you can afford it, can really boost awareness. A 10% of coup, coupon in select ladies' magazines all increase first-time visitors. Once we get them into the store, the rest is kind of up to you. Mr. Draper, our store, 60 years old. We share a wall with Tiffany's. Want to see a coupon, Mrs. Milken? Coupons work. I think your father would agree with the strategy. He might, but he's not here because he, we just had our lowest sales ever, year ever. But I suppose you what I think matters most right now. Miss Minkin, why did you come here? A dozen other agencies better suited for your, to your needs. Only some other man who happened to be from some village for my father to man for my father to manage my account. I could have stayed where I was. Reserve pay, research pay with coupons too. I'm not just research Miss Minkin. Housewives love coupons. I'm not interested in housewives. What kind of people do you want? I want your kind of people, Mr Draper. People don't care about coupons, whether or not they can afford it. People are coming in the store because it's expensive. Obviously a very obviously have very different ideas yes like the customer is always right gentlemen i really thought you would do better than this Stanley cooper's reputation for being interested miss your way out of mine don please let's not get emotional here there's no reason that we can't talk this out talk what that what it's the idea that people are gonna come to some store never seen because it's more expensive what's for chanel Miggins is not chanel that's a vote of confidence. What Don's saying is Chanel is a very different kind of place. It's French, it's continental. It's not another Jewish department store, exactly. You're right, Roger. This place really runs on charm. It's ridiculous, Don. I'm not going to let a woman talk to me like this. The meeting is over. Good luck, Miss Minkin. Hey, I don't, 
I don't, I don't blame him. She is way out of his line. Adding money and education doesn't take the rough, rude edge out of people. Well, she's not going to be happy. So I guess that's good for you. I'm not going to pretend I don't want your job. You're right. I'm not great with people, and you are. I mean, not counting that meeting we just got in. We just had just in. So I'm kind of counting on you to help me out. Plenty of room on the, at the top. Look, I was sorry I was so hard on you before. It's just this damn tobacco thing. You think of something? A man like you follows it to come back blindfolded. I won't be the first. I'm all right, buddy. Let's take it a little slower. I don't want to wake up pregnant. Fuck you, Dr. Anderson. You seem nice. You're the place in Southampton. I'm not saying that, 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 that I've seen it. It's beautiful. Now don't be nervous. This is the nurse head of the office. You and your boss rely on the willing and cheerful cooperation of a few skilled employees. Never snap or yell or be sarcastic with them. Above all, always be sub a supplement. Know that your girls are busy, but we've got a new one. Peggy, this is Madge. Nanette and Ivy. I bought those you film things. I guess I'm sort of getting to know you guess. Well, aren't you a sweetheart? If you know Joan. If I know Joan, I can not even me, Jan, Joan, you're not fair. You know she's asked to lose eight pounds by a grip of barbary. I mean, you look great. Yes, it's because I'm sitting you down. You can come back and visit any time you want, honey. Who does she work for? Don Draper. You'd get there, get rid of Eleanor. She'd move on. Draper went, wasn't interested. Why? She couldn't get a call through. Rude little thing. You see that you've done your, got your hands full. Don't want to be, want to be bother. Don't want to be bother. Nice meeting you. Hey, have you got, you have great legs. I bet Mr. Draper would love them if he could see them. Sterling Cooper. May I direct you a call? I don't know what we have to do to make these government interlopers happy. They tell us to make a safer cigarette, we do it. And suddenly it's not good enough. Might as well be living in Russia. Damn straight. You know this morning, I put a call. I got a call from my competitors at Brown and Wilson. They got scheduled soon by the federal government because of the health claims they made. Yeah, we're aware of that, Mr. Gardner. But you do realise that though the manipulation through the mass manipulation of mass media, the public is under pressure, pressure that your cigarettes are linked to certain fatal diseases. Manipulation, manipulation of the press? Hell. That's what I pay for. I put it as fine. I smoke it myself. My granddad died at vote on. He died at 95 years old. Chipped by a truck, I understand. But your pans are tied. They're no longer allowed to advertise. The constraints are safe. So what the hell are we going to do? We're going to fund out. We've already funded our, our own tobacco search centre for the whole of rumour to rest. That's a good, very good start. But it may not affect the sales. Don, I think maybe that's your clue. Uh-huh. I've been thinking quite a bit about this. And I mean, you know, I'm lucky strike man way back. So I might have a solution. As Tony Souza Cooper, we've been planning the bludgeoning field Burgeoning field of research and analysis shows health risks associated with your product is not the end of the world. People get in their cars every day to go to work. Some of them die. Cars go dangerous. There's nothing you can do about it. You still have to get, a, get where you're going. Cigarettes are exactly the same. And why don't we simply say, so what if cigarettes are dangerous? Oh man, the world is dangerous. Smoke your cigarette. You still have to get where you're going. That's very interesting. I mean, if cigarettes are dangerous, it would be interesting. Except they aren't. That's your slogan. You're getting going to die anyway? Die with us? Actually, it's by the established psychological principle. Society is death wish. And we could just tap into that. Market potential is what the hell are you talking about? Are you saying? I'm not selling all rifles here. I'm in tobacco business. We're selling America. The Indians gave it to us for shit's sake. Come on, Dad. Let's get out of here bright spot at least we know if we have problem everybody has this has this problem gentlemen before you leave can I say something I don't know Don can you Federal Trade Commission three judges have done, done you a favour they let you know that any ad that brings up a concept of cigarettes and health together well just gonna make people think of cancer 
Yes, we're grateful to him. There, but you see, Miss Deidre said it right. We don't make those. We can't make those complaints. Neither can the competitors. We've got a lot of people not saying anything. They sell cigarettes. Not exactly. It's a great piece of advertising opportunity. There's an adventure cereal. We have six individual companies making six identical products. We can say anything we want. How do you make your cig- How do you make the cigarettes? I don't know. Shame with you. We need to with to tobacco seeds. Plant them in North Carolina. Sunshine. Grow it. Cut it. Cure it. Toast it. There you go. There you go. But no, but everybody else tobacco is toasty. No. Everybody else's tobacco is poisonous. Like it's dry. It's poisonous. Too. What do you mean? I don't think to tell you what you what we just witnessed here. I think you do. Advertising is based on one thing, happiness. You know what happiness is? Happiness is the smell of a new car. Freedom from fear. A billboard on the side of the road that screams with reassurance. Whatever you're doing, it's okay. You're okay, it's toasted. I get it. You had me worry. I don't know. If you're drunk or not drunk. But you, that was a spy for record. I pulled it out of thin air to fake you up there. We're looking at the wrong direction. So now I've got you in the article below here. What do you say you would consider presidential campaign? I don't know. Bunting of babies? That's hard work. I'll even make a hash of it. Modesty. They're adorable. Consider the product. These young, handsome Navy heroes. Honestly, it shouldn't be too difficult to convince America Dick Nixon is a winner, Mr. Draper. We have got visitors. Could you be a little more specific, honey? I heard you say today. Oh, good sake. Thank you, boys. I appreciate it. I told you I made you were. I was still tingling. Well, it looks like you're all going to engage in a little more level kindery. So I can be on my way. Oh, thanks again for the home run. I love to come through. Speaking of which, any chance of come? Could you patch up things with Rachel Menken? Anyway, you could be as charming as I said you were. Haven't you had enough of my magic for one day? You were three million. Well, whore, Peggy, could you get a little more ice? Yes, Mr. Draper. Just a minute. First, I think the party's gone. Have a move. Have to move elsewhere. You move whatever you want, but it's 5.15. Perhaps the party's underway, you don't know. Oh, come on, Don, all hands on deck. Aren't you going to help your give Pete his big send-off? Maybe next time. Come on, guys. Don will join us late. We can write. Don, if Greta's search was any good, I wouldn't would have used it. What are you talking about? I'm saying I had a port just like that. They're not, it's not like this the magic machine that gives identical copies of things. I think she was right. Have a great night, Pete. Congratulations. Heard you amazing in a meeting. Fear stimulates my imagination. Just want to thank you for a great first day. And for knowing and stand, stand, now stand it, and you know standing up for me, and Mr. Dr. Campbell. First of all, Peggy, I'm your boss and not your boyfriend. Second of all, you never leave Pete Campbell. Let Pete Campbell, Pete Campbell, go through my trash again. You won't be able to find a job selling sandwiches in Penn Station. He said he left his family pen in there. I don't know. I hope you don't think that I'm that kind of girl. Of course not. Go home. Put your colours in. We'll get a fresh start tomorrow, honey. Oh, Peg, Peggy, I need you to click a call. Want to see? I want you to see you here every fifteen minutes. Will you have drinks or not? Huh? Every five minutes. Let's let's live here. Don't do more than that. Then look tonight. Do you have a girlfriend? Send me more. Come on, I'm Italian. We kind of party here. How did we? Did you swing it? It worked at an automat. We pressed a button and it came out. I hope we're not interrupting anything. Definitely not. Well, I had the best seat. What are we drinking? More of it, whatever. Making you the way you are. I love this place. It's hot, hot, loud, and filled with men. I know what you mean. Oh, my God. I can get already feel it. I have a feeling you like this all the time. I like to laugh. Is that all right? Now, you stop that. I said you like to laugh. I mean it. It's too, too delicious. Hey, I said stop it. What do you think you're doing? Well, you know exactly. Oh, come, you know what, girls. I think we should go. Oh, come on. You're hurting me. That'd be good. Buy the girls whatever they want. So, huh, what are you doing, fella? What are you fella do? Looking to find his head men in New York. Well, the world. The ladies are special. 
Ma, Matari, one whiskey neat. So you're going to pry me with drinks and convince me. It's a mistake I'm making. Don't make this, this, this is quite a drink. You're not in trouble, I didn't. Well, you got in trouble, didn't you? I shouldn't have lost my temper. I certainly shouldn't have treated you like something less, anything less than a client. Apologies accepted. So you understand? No, I do. Ah, oh, refreshing, really. I mean, actually hearing all the things. I always assume people were ever thinking. Well, I'm not really as bad as all that. I've done a lot of pressure. Another account? Doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. So without making things worse, can I ask you a better question? Do you want to get a second drink in first? Why aren't you married? Are you asking what's wrong with me? It's just that you're beautiful and educated woman. Do you think you're getting married and having a woman family will make you happy? Then all the headaches that go along with fighting people like me. For, for if I was a woman, I would be allowed to ask you the same question. If I wasn't a woman, I wouldn't have to choose between putting up an apron a frill on having my father's door. They always thought that it should be. So that's it. You won't, you won't get married because they find business to be frill. That's I never been that. I never been in love. She won't get married because she's never been in love. I think I wrote that one and to sell nylons. For a lot of people, love isn't a, just a slogan. Oh, what you mean love? You mean a big lightning bolt and a heart. When you can't eat, you can't work, you just run off and get married and make babies. The reason you haven't felt it, because you don't, it doesn't exist. What do you call love? Invented by guys like me to sell nylons. Is that right? I'm pretty sh- sure about it. You're born alone, you die alone. This world, it just drops a bunch of rules on you. Make you forget those facts, but never forget. I live like those with no tomorrow, because there isn't one. I don't think I realise it to this moment. It just be hard. Be must be hard being a man too. Excuse me, Mister Draper. Don. Mister Draper, I don't know what it is really believing, but I do know what it feels to be out of place, to be disconnected, to see the whole world laid out, laid out in front of you. Other people live it, the way other people live it. It's not telling me about you. It tells me you know it too. I don't know it's, if it's tr- that's, that's true. You want another drink? No. You can tell your boss that you charmed me. So I guess we're seeing each other again. Be back in the office on Monday morning for a real meeting. I like that. I'm not buying anything. Actually, it's the first time today I'm not saying anything. Does Picky live here? Hold on. Do you know him? It's okay, Marjorie. We work together. He's really drunk. It's okay, Marjorie. So what are you doing? Well, nothing. Just sitting in my room, listening to records. I get married on Sunday. I heard that. You must think I'm a creep. Why are you here? I want to see you tonight. Me? I want to see you, Marjorie. Here, yeah, Peggy. I'm going to bed for now. I could call the office. They said you left. Didn't want to bother you. No bother. I just assume you're staying in the city then. There's a plate in the oven. Unless you're not hungry. I'm not. Be right back. Don't move. 